It's Friends Thirsty Thursday. I'm Lori. We're back. I'm Warren. Have we been gone? No, we're just back on Thursday. <laughs> yeah, well, we were back on last Thursday. Yeah. So someone brought up a comment, I should say, that when I post these videos, they don't go out on a Thursday, but they may, but we do them on a Thursday usually. There's sometimes we'll do them on a Saturday, and then I'll put out their you know, Saturday night special, or we might just do whatever. But anyway, it for the most part, that's they a, are done on Thursdays. That's a dedicated person who knows we didn't post it on Thursday. They, I know because, well, uh, but the post person that made that comment, because they said that it ain't Thursday, I think what they really meant was that, that it was, um, because I posted it, they knew what day it was, because some people, you know, if you drink a lot, you don't know what day it is. Well, we're <laughs> but, talking too much and not drinking hey, enough, this so is true. let's this move is true. on. So anyway, we'll we'll get this off of here and um, just jump right into. So oh. I, I was gonna do this one first. Squirrel, oh, citrus squall. A squirrel. <laughs> um, yeah, citrus squall. It's a double golden ale. Does that sound interesting? Yeah, double I don't know. golden ale. I don't think I've ever, um, we've ever done one of these. Um, it's 8% on the alcohol. I see that. Ale yeah. with grapefruit juice and blue agave nectar. Let's see. Our perfect storm infusing a double golden ale with grapefruit juice, lime peel, and blue agave nectar. Dogfish head, brewed and canned by Dogfish, Dogfish Head Craft Brewery. Oh, Wilton, Delaware? No, right there. Wilton Drive, Pennsylvania, right? What's that? Well, oh, you know what? Well, let's give the road. <laughs> Kingsville, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. And it's Cincinnati, Ohio, too, so it could be different places but I hope they didn't go overboard on the grapefruit is what I was trying yeah. to say a minute ago well if you're keeping score for all you macadoodle or non non macadoodle drinkers if you go to macadoodles here at the Lake of the Ozarks that's what happens with your label and uh, no we did not take it it's just the way they do it if you're buying them in a pack you know if you pick them up individually so oh well I'm not going to like the smell of it. I kind of, right up front, it smelled like grapefruit. That's what I was afraid of. <laughs> um, but anyway. I don't know. Ooh. It almost smells like a dogfish or dog. Yeah. Doesn't it? it smell like it a wet dog? Like grapefruit to me, and that's. But then I smell like a wet dog. You know how wet dog smell? not what a beer is supposed to taste like. It's kind of an unusual taste. Yeah. Maybe that's what a wet dog tastes, tastes like. like a, Maybe a wet dog tastes I like I never that. liked them, but it tastes like a squirt <laughs> or something, those soft drinks. Oh, you know, I've got one of those out in the fridge. I got it the other day. It I was given where to that me. came from. Yeah. A lot of people used to use it to mix drinks with. I never did. What I'd would you mix? Whiskey. I'd drink whiskey straight before I'd mix squirt. This almost tastes like a watered down soda. 8% on the alcohol. It's not bad, but it just has a... It's kind of a wane to it. Yeah. I, mean, I don't get any beer taste. I don't get any lime. Well... That's it. The, the grapefruit overpowers everything else. Yeah. It's not a strong grapefruit, but you can taste the grapefruit. I mean, it's the first thing up front, but yeah. Hmm. All right, well. Hey, yuck. <laughs> I took too big a gulp there. And it was, it was kind of sour when I did that too. It gets me right here. Mm. On to bigger and better things. I'm glad you feel that way. <laughs> Twice the daily serving. This is, uh, that's the name of it, twice, even more daily servings. Twice the daily servings. Even. All right. It is brewed and uh, brewed by Evil Twin Brewing out of uh, Ridgewood, New York. 
uh, distrib distributed by 12% in Mount Vernon, New York. Uh, this is a one piner. It's a 7% on the alcohol. It's a sour ale brewed with raspberry, marshmallow, collaboration with Trillum Brewing Company. Keep refrigerated and drink fresh. Are you supposed to roll it? I don't want to find out afterwards. I know. I that one time. Yeah, we uh, we messed up before on these when we don't roll them or. But that was, it sounds interesting though. It's got sour with marshmallow. Our friends say that that's yeah. a surefire so, way to marshmallow. This out. is uh, um, this beer was uh, sent to us by Friday Night Beer Tasting. Uh, we don't mention them enough, really. Um, they're they, great friends to have. They are. They got, and, they got uh, their own following. They yep. Got, not that they need us to no, mention them. No, they don't. They don't need us at all. Anyway, um, catch them on their channel. Friday. I kind of think wow. I went overboard. And it's not the color. Holy smokes. It's, it's um, a berry color. What do you need? Um, just, I'm going to get, I'll get a paper towel. All right. I'll keep our audience entertained here. She what? spilled, uh, she spilled beer on herself. Well. She's, she'll uh, be back. I'll be back. I'm here. I'm not gone far. Um, wow, it's got a nice smell. Really nice smell. I'm hoping that the marshmallows help it out. It looks really thick. <laughs> it does not look like a beer. <laughs> well, two for two. Cheers. Cheers. It's kind of foamy like a beer. Oh, wow. But it's got a nice flavor. It does. Right, right when it goes in, I can taste the marshmallow. Can you? What was it? Raspberry? Sour ale brewed with raspberry marshmallow collaboration with Trillum Brewing Company. Yeah, I, I think I can taste the raspberry. I can raspberry taste the raspberry. More than the marshmallow. Yeah. I'm sure that mellows it out a little bit, but still got a little bit of sour to it. Just a little bit. Uh, I bet Steve likes this one. I bet he does. I'm not not usually real big on sours, but this isn't bad. But I'm a big fan on raspberry and beer. I really yeah, yeah. grown to like that. And blueberry, I mean. I I kind of do too. A little bit goes a long way with me. <laughs> that, doesn't, that doesn't mean it's a winner yet. No, but you know. It's well on its way though. It's on its way. I I have to give it a little bit of a ring. It's just really really thick I don't know if you guys can see that but it's not it's you get raspberry up front you can taste the marshmallow on the back side I mean it's got a catch I mean it's got a definitely a sour definitely but uh, it's very interesting when it pours out whether we need it to uh, shake it or roll it I don't know I do wish well, you did it can't hurt no I just wish they kind of would indicate it better on the cans, but I'm not going to be complaining too much, but except if it's a really good beer and you didn't do that, kind of like that one was that one on our video. Yeah, the first half was better than the last I half. I hate it wasting that, man. <laughs> All right, because we did have to pour some of that out. All right, so this one is uh, by Abida. It's Fluffer Nutter. It's a white stout. Man. 8% on the alcohol. Wasn't that 8%? Yep. So that's 7%. Yep. I said 8%, but that was 7 So this is another 8%er. Beverage with natural flavors. A bite of springs, Louisiana. Alpha nutter, brewed with milk, sugar, vanilla, peanut flavor. This sweet golden ale boasts a creamy mouthfeel aired with flavors, toasted malt, and notes of marshmallow and peanut butter. Wow, got some marshmallow stuff going on here. All right. All right. Sounds interesting. Yes, I hope I didn't have to roll that, but no. I don't know that no, I did on that. So. Okay, to the fence line. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think you've reworked your cap gun there. Wow. Wow. 
this smells really good. Now this is a stout, keep know, it in mind. I know, but it's not too dark. No, it's a milk, no, it's a white stout, sorry. White stout. Right. Got a really interesting smell. I don't know that I've ever had a white stout, have we? Seems like we have, but I can't remember. Cheers. Cheers. You know what it reminds me of? Those um, lady fingers. Those four. What are the lady fingers? What are the peanut things? The Nutter peanut? butters. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> it does. Uh, you know. Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. A little bit stronger than the Nutter butters. I don't get the sweetness like uh, I do with the Nutter butter, but right, but right when it goes in, you can taste the nut. Yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. Hold on. Uh, brewed with milk, sugar, vanilla. I can. I get the vanilla. I do too. Yeah. <clears throat> no. Uh, I guess that's what gives it its white stout is the vanilla. I, I, no, I don't know. I really don't. Yeah, me neither. It's just a guess. Well, it said milk sugar. Maybe that's yeah. what it is. Milk sugar. No, well, maybe. Okay. Not it's bad. really. It's really pretty good. It's not too heavy. No. It's got a nice smell to it. Mm, definitely. But, you know, if you had to say beer, 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 beer. I mean, if you were complaining these weren't, didn't really, well, that one in particular right. wasn't really a beer. Right. You didn't think it was a beer. That's the first beer that I can really taste the peanut butter kind of thing, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. I should say the first beer that wasn't a, not a, that's a stout, but you know what I'm saying, like uh, Imperial Stout or what is it? We had one that was, I don't remember, this, I want to say it was by Tannic Brewing Company. It was their peanut butter. I can't remember. All right. This one, last one, because we only do four beers. This one is by Springfield Brewing Company. We've had several of theirs in Springfield, Missouri. It's a tropical fruit squeeze, a kettle sour ale. Kettle sour ale with mango, pineapple, and passion fruit. That's good. Delicately sour ale packed mm. with mango, pineapple, and passion fruit for big tropical juicy notes and a refreshingly tart finish. It's 5% on the alcohol. And like I said, it's a... Uh, out of uh, Springfield, Missouri. You're making me nervous when you put it like that. I could see that bottle tipping over. Yeah, there. maybe. Yeah, we only do four, except when we're influenced by Friday night beer tasting and they make you do 29. No, that was 20. <laughs> Whatever. Don't give them that much credit. All right, well, it's got a nice color. Yep. It's a little bit hazy, but I would expect that on a sour. Um, I think we've got these too far spaced out, but. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. Mm. Wow. <laughs> I was expecting to be more sweet. Got a little bit of sour to it. Oh, yeah. tough one tonight yeah they're all well, not all of them but they're well they're all different <clears throat> so yeah we've got so like these two here are sours yeah. that's a stout and that's the funny thing is I thought this said it's a golden ale. so this these two are kind of golden ales this is a double golden ale and this is a golden ale but then it says it's a white stout because it says Wait, it's. I think I know where you're headed here. You, we do the sours, we do these. Maybe. And then the winners of those two. Maybe. I don't care. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. There's no good but, way to do uh, this. But I, I am. I, I'm. They, no doubt, Springfield Brewing Company. They have some great beers. Uh, this one kind of surprises me a little bit. I guess I was thinking back to some other beers that we've done of theirs that were the squeeze. So. And it's sour. I didn't think so, but no. I mean, I, that one just kind of shocked me. But it's a kettle sour. Is that a difference between a sour ale? 
Because I don't remember what the other ones know. were. Do you? I don't. I don't remember being kettle ales, but mango, pineapple, and passion fruit. I don't know. It just uh, that's three flavors. I don't know that I would have thought about a couple of them, maybe, but maybe not three. But anyway. Alrighty. Then I don't know if. Hmm. All right. You need to retry anything? I don't know. What are we what are we doing first here? I'm actually gonna it matter to me. So this one also was sent to us by Friday Night Beer Tasting. I don't know if I mentioned that. I don't think so. I don't think so either. Both of these were Friday Night Beer <clears throat> Tasting. These I actually got that one at uh Gerbs, Kroger and store. Uh, that one Cadoodles. Macadoodles. Anyway, uh, this is a say this one was a sour? No, double. Oh, that's right. Golden double. ale. I don't know what I'm thinking. Okay. Um, I don't know. I'm almost half tempted to put the first one up and that one. This or this last one and that one, and the first one. I'll go with the last one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna retry that one real okay. quick. Um, you, you go right ahead. I'll retry it too. What the heck? Maybe it's changed. Maybe. I'm gonna warm it up a little bit. So I just I we don't usually let our beers cool off much. I mean warm up much. Whatever you want to call it, cool off <laughs> or warm up. Cheers. Mm. It's, I, if we were grapefruit lovers, yeah, I don't. I don't think it's quite as bad as the first time, but I'm still not a fan. Yeah. Uh, I'm going with, with that one. I think I feel pretty confident that's where you're headed to. Okay. So now. this one's out of the run. Yeah, just set it back. I mean, just it's back here. Okay, so because this is a sour, how about between these two? Okay. Okay, what? That's that's fine. If we want to do those next. Yeah. I mean, those are between this one and this one. Huh. I see what you're doing here. You're only going to let one sour get to the final. <laughs> <laughs> that's not true. Um, <laughs> yeah, believe it is. <laughs> I'm just. All right, I'm gonna retry this one. I'll retry it. I just feel like. I feel like. I don't want to put these two up against each other. I don't know. This one is the. Um, so that was the rat. Uh, Tropical fruit squeeze, and this one's twice the daily serving. Even more daily servings. Seven percent. That was the seven percent on the alcohol. Yeah, that one was eight. Yeah. It's got a really nice smell. I mean, the raspberry is oh, right yeah. up front. I thought you were talking about this one for a minute. No, that does that does smell like grapefruit though. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, this has got a great smell. Oh man, it's not as this is sour, but not like that. No, it's a pretty color. It is. It's not a beer color, but it's pretty. It doesn't. It foamed up just a little bit. Uh, you think? Yeah. Yours did. Mine. I don't know. All righty. Which way are you voting there? I will vote for that. Me too. It's gone. This is kind of a thick, heavy beer. Kind of hangs in the glass. Yeah, it's got a really a good raspberry double. flavor in. Uh, <clears throat> topped off with a little bit of marshmallow on the backside. The kick, I mean, it's got a sour kick, but not like, I mean, mm -hmm. to me, it doesn't, it doesn't make you go, oh, you know. All right, so <clears throat> this one is out. Yep. 
So right now you've got the the nutter. So we've got the got yeah, we've got so the nutter fluff fluffer nutter nutter fluffer um, white stout out of it's a Bida Brewing Company, and then you've got the Evil Twin, which is their uh, it's a daily serving. It's a weird name I feel like. Uh, I'm a weird can too. It is a sour ale brewed with raspberry marshmallow. Collaboration with Trillium Brewing Company. Uh, anyway, uh, it's uh, it is raspberry. So, it is marshmallow. But this one, do you want to retry it? I, I need to retry. I feel the, like I need to. Fluffer. I know. It, to me, it's got that vanilla cookie kind of. Not lady fingers. What do you call them? Lady no, fingers. Nutter butters. Nutter butters. What they sound know. alike. Did I ever have? <laughs> no, they don't. I know. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever had nutter butters. Oh, really? No. I've had my share. You know, well, I'm sure you have. Cheers. Cheers. Golly. And this is a white stout. I've never had a white stout. It is, uh, how much on the alcohol? 8% on the alcohol. Yippee. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right. Um, golly. This is really hard. It is. They're, they're different beers. If I had to, I mean, they both taste exactly how they're supposed to. Yep. As far as which one I prefer more, which one could I drink more of? I could probably drink more of that one. They both have great flavors. Uh, like I said, they taste exactly how they're supposed to. First. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a difficult decision. I see why you're passing this on to me. I can't find fault in either one of these, but we can't have a tie. If I was going to go with which one tasted more like it's supposed to, I'd go with that one. Cause it's all raspberry. It's got that. Uh, it's got the uh, marshmallow that hits ya. Uh, the thing I didn't like about it is the dang name. I, I didn't like the I, name of it. That one has everything going for it, and I'm I'm gonna go opposite you. If I want, if I was going somewhere and I wanted to set and have two or three, I'd probably have this one instead of that one. Oh, I see what you're saying. I thought, so but I mean. I'm leaning, I'm leaning toward the. That's what I said I was. No. Yes, I did. You No, I, I, I probably, that's more okay, true to taste. Then we don't have to argue then. <laughs> <laughs> we can rewind this, but then. Um, All right. You so, pointed that one, said you I can know. drink several of those. I can, but that saying, doesn't that doesn't mean I'm going to okay. go with it. All right. All right. That's just more true to its taste. We have a winner. It is the uh, Evil whoa, Twin. Whoa, whoa. It's twice the daily serving Evil Twin Evil Twin Brewing Company. Um, it is seven percent on the alcohol. Although if in I had spite a, of their weird label. Uh, I know. In spite of the weird label, which. Is always eye catching, and um, in spite of that, it's uh, it's our winner tonight. So I'm gonna have some going out. All right, let me rinse this other one out. And um, the Fluffer Nutter, um, it's a great beer. It probably would have won on another Friends Thirsty Thursday, but um, it's a great beer. And um, thanks to Steve and Nancy for yeah. sending this to us. Yeah. We're appreciative and enlightened by the new beer yes it's awesome and uh we'll see you on another um thirsty thursday thanks